Hey everyone, welcome back for another Naruto CCG video. For this one, it's going to be a little special because I'm going to be opening up some original Japanese Naruto booster packs. I'm not exactly sure what set these uh, booster packs are going to be from, so we'll find that out together. Uh, I would imagine it'll probably be from the first uh, set or maybe first couple sets, but I have eight booster packs to open. I opened up one off screen just to kind of see what the cards were like. Uh, I noticed a couple things. One, they're a little smaller than the US version cards. You can tell just like that. And uh, the back design's different as well, which I actually think the US version's uh, a little bit cooler. So now I don't read Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to provide um, any sort of text information, but most of the characters I should be able to know so just like this is the second Okage and I'll kind of explain the rarity um, with the cards but it'll be interesting to see what each pack has to offer All right, let's take a closer look at the package art. So this is actually pretty cool. I think this is probably my favorite package art out of all of the booster packs that I've opened up. And then the back's just got um, a bunch of Japanese wording and some numbers that I'm not gonna call. All right, so let's open this one up. So the rarity system in this, in the Japanese version, the normal card is not going to have any dots, and then a rare will have one dot. Oh, that's interesting. Are these two? Oh, I think those two were the special cards, so we'll save them for last. All right. So first one's going to be Eno. Uh, so no dots is normal and the dots should be down here towards the bottom left uh, no dots normal one dot is rare two dots is super rare three dots is ultra rare four dot dots is ultimate rare and five dots is secret rare um, which i think the secret rare is only in the um, later sets so i believe we should only possibly see no dots to four dots. So, Eno. Uh, we have a mission card, which, um, what is it? Paper Bomb, I think. Kasami Nitachi. Kiba. San Kun? No. Uh, Naruto. Hinata. You got those guys. What is it? Izuma, Izumo, Kotetsu. That little kid. That little kid again. <laughs> All right. So here's here's the uh, I think the two special cards. So we have a one dot uh, Orochimaru, and then another one dot Kiba with. Akamaru, I guess this would be Akamaru. So, we got the gold foil. So, two uh, uh, rares, I guess. Yep, those would both be the rares. So interesting. I'll put them right over to the side. So, just taking a look at the U.S. version of this card, uh, you can tell that the Japanese one is a lot cooler. It has a, a lot cooler background instead of this uh, red smoke or flames or whatever it is. So it would have been cool if the U.S. version would have had the same background. I'd say that's one of the only downsides I've seen so far. But oh well, let's keep moving on. All right, on to the second pack. I like how they do this where 
they have the, I guess, special cards face uh, down versus the rest of the pack. So you automatically know that those are going to be the, the good cards. Um, the U.S. packs, I guess, is always just a guessing game of what order they're in. So, anyways, we have uh, Kiba, Sakura crying like usual. Ooh, we got this uh, rain guy or mist guy from the tuning exams. Naruto. Kashi Zabuza. We have Shikamaru. Another Zabuza. The whole gang. Eno. Paper Bomb. Alright, and for our first rare, it's going to be Tintin 10 -10 cheating on the uh, tuning exams. And good old Neji and Hinata going at it. Both of those are just rares with the one dot. All right. Next pack. Okay, we got Kiba again. Kasami and Itachi. Neji. Naruto. Naruto and Konohamaru. Looking at some magazines. This guy again showing up with the umbrellas. We got Gara Sand, Kakashi Zabuza. Interesting. We got a big old snake, a giant snake. Sasuke with these uh, fireball. And then the two special cards are going to be Hinata Neji. And what is this? hidden or primary lotus that's really cool i really love the background art that they have on these cards both of them are rares uh, with the foil and the one dot all right next pack um, so we have our first card will be shikamaru and i don't know if i said this but um, this appears to be the ninja cards with the reddish borders. The green ones have, um, I'm assuming, are your uh, your jutsus. Or not jutsu, sorry, missions. Um, so Zabuza and Kakashi. And the blue are, I, I believe, the jutsus. So here's Naruto. and Again, the same Rain Umbrella Man. Sakura's Tears. Kiba. A different Shikamaru, the third Hokage, and Iruka Sensei, Sasuke, Neji, and our two rares, um, Irochimaru peeling off his face. Oh, and here we go. We got a, what is it, ultra rare. So this is an ultra rare card, um, kind of like the second Hokage we had earlier foil background foil name here's the three dots at the bottom crystal mirrors mission or not sorry jutsu really nice okay let's keep moving forward next pack all right we have sasuke another giant snake Kakashi, Zabuza, the Sand, same Rain Ninja, Naruto, Naruto, Neji, Kiba. All right, here we go. So we have the what? Sealing the curse mark. Kakashi, Sasuke. This is going to be a blue jutsu. And another Orochimaru mission. Not sure what it is, though. All right, three packs left. Now, I'm not really sure what the um, rate for rarity is in each pack. I know we've had at least one rare in every pack, and I've gotten one 
ultra rare so I don't know if ultra rare is the best or if we'll see an ultimate rare I'm not exactly sure but anyways this is a, a fun experience so first card we have a ninja it's the leaf proctor and we have another jutsu zabuza and kakashi mission gato we have another one of those rain guys it's one of his buddies in the tuning exams this one's uh what was this wasn't this when um rock lee was about to fight and beat up on sasuke got naruto I uh, can't remember her name. Um, Disguise. Sasuke and Kakashi. And uh, what's his name's mother that I'm also blanking on. All right, to the two most important cards. We got Shotogun Eye, Kakashi's rare, and a, another ultra rare, Anko. Very nice. I still like the background a lot more than the US versions. All right, second to last pack. I did take a quick look and it seems that these booster packs are from the first three sets, Path to Hokage, Coils of the Snake, and uh, the Curse Sand. So that's pretty interesting. That's a pretty good selection of cards. So for this pack we have Shikamaru, we got the whole gang, I believe this is Windmill in the US version, you got Choji in Expansion, Orochimaru being creepy, you got the Cat Lady, uh, I think her name's Suzumi, Kabuto, Sasuke, Giant Snake, and the two important cards. We have Curse Seal and another Ultra Rare. Nice. And I think this is a Super Rare in the um, US version. So it's like the highest card you could get in a US pack. It's pretty nice. All right. Time for the last pack. First one's going to be Disguise. Got Naruto, Kiba, Rochimaru and Naruto. We got Sasuke and the uh, with the Mist Ninjas and the Chun Exams. Another Umbrella guy, Iruka, taking some plot armor shurikens to the body. The whole gang, Hinata, Sand. Often, and two important cards. Interesting. Okay, so we have this is a super rare two dots. Uh, Kabuto, it's really cool. And then we have a rare Sasuke. Nice. Well, there you have it. Eight Naruto booster packs of the original Japanese cards. I had a lot of fun opening up these booster packs and getting to see the differences between the US and Japanese versions. And now I have uh, Japanese cards to add to my collection. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And like always, stay safe.